what is going on guys welcome back to a new video of WWE Supercard here on the channel if you guys enjoyed today's content like comment subscribe join the family and join the movement so uh Monday was extremely overwhelming for me with everything that happened I just needed a Tuesday off just hanged out with my buddies until work and you know it was just a stressful stressful day so uh, I just couldn't be bothered with Tuesday Yo guys already know what I already decided to do. Just respect that decision. That's the way I'm going to go with it. So yeah, we're moving on to much better and bigger things to come. I think it'll be beneficial for me as well because honestly, everything that, you know, I've done that's been immature and stuff has honestly affected my channel in some shape way or form. And I think it's just better for me just to keep doing what I'm doing. Like, why am I doing this to myself? And it made me realize, like, so maybe I'm just being a dumbass sometimes. But anyways, I'm back. Let's move on. And let's get into the Supercard action. Now, everyone loves Wild Wednesday. Honestly, it's one of my favorite days uh, for grinding purposes. Uh, because, you know, balloons. Now, I did already do my Fusion because I did it at work. And I got my first WrestleMania in forever i was shocked to see a wrestlemania card because i've done like the past 24 of these i've gotten like 23 cataclysms so to, so to see a wrestlemania was very disappointing i didn't even know those things were in the packs at this point uh i'm still doing more of these popcorns i've been slacking lately uh trying to get that fourth carmella but it's just me slacking but we do have quest while wow, Wednesday quest. Now, honestly, nothing benefits me. You know, I still got to pro Charlotte and I think Ricochet. So, honestly, nothing benefits me at all at this point. Uh, pretty much all I could get from this that I, I could find useful is a two-stat manager support. And that's about it. So, we'll claim the four tickets. Uh, we'll do, we're going to actually do the support last because that is actually the thing that I need the most. Out of everything here. Uh, enhancement is probably going to be a freaking cataclysm. Oh, thank God. So, you know, we're going to do our wild win. We're going to do the support last and do these first. Uh, I'm hoping just for one cataclysm. Uh, anything for catalog, I guess. You know, nothing, nothing crazy. Let's go. Give it to me. And right, we get one cataclysm. I'm happy with that. As expected. That, Pete Dunn. Give me, who would I want? Maybe Asuka. Lars Sullivan, he does not make my deck at all whatsoever, so. It's another pro that I could pro. I actually have to pro him correctly now that I realized it because he is a down arrow and I only need one more down arrow to have a full Giants deck and now it's Lars Sullivan, so I'm going to have to correctly pro him. But yeah, only because of Giants Unleashed. <laughs> Now can we get a Cataclysm support to stat manager? This is what I need the most. Ah, uh, they always don't give me what I want, but then they give me something I actually appreciate. <laughs> Titties. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. That's, I'll take it. You can never be mad when you don't get what you want, but you still get something you want. Never can be mad about that. I appreciate you, Supercon. I greatly appreciate you. <laughs> My God. So I know a lot of you are kind of wondering what's going to be the event card. Now we're all assuming it's going to be last man standing. We're pretty set on last man standing being the event for this next coming up event. Uh, the question is, who is going to be the card? Uh, if I had to make predictions, you know, we got like Kevin Owens, Shane McMahon, uh, you know, someone that was at Raw Reunion, possibly a legend, Hall of Famer. You know, imagine Hulk Hogan. <laughs> oh boy, would that be funny to see. But I doubt it, I guess, because I guarantee they probably don't have the license for that. But uh, we're going to find out. We're probably about 26 minutes away from finding out what the event card is going to be. So, we're well, pretty much 25 minutes and 35 seconds on the screen right now. And then we'll get the event. But we're all pretty confident it's going to be LMS. Wait and see. So uh, I got to figure out something to do while we wait. Probably I'll try to figure something out. Five second daydream time. Go. Holy Habara, habara. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we all said it was going to be LMS, and we pretty much knew it was coming, but I don't think any of us imagined it being Becky Lynch as the last man standing card. Like, oh my god. Now, I do like the image. Uh, it should be a fun, fun event. <laughs> Tell you that right now. Uh, I don't know what rank I'm going to go for. I probably won't kill myself to get this car, like kill kill myself to get an amazing Becky Lynch. But oh my god, what a card. Now, uh, everyone, I, I don't know if people will go ham for this. Like crazy, crazy. I know it's like, oh god, they still, have, they still haven't fixed the platinum packs, but it will be fixed. Trust me on that. I'm sure the community will rage in a few saying, why is there no cataclysm in the packs? It'll be there. Don't. Don't hurt yourselves. But man, this image is great. So I just hope people really just go, oh my god, I just want the image. So, you know, these people will battle out for the images and stuff. But, you know, LMS isn't really something that we're sp spending a shitload of money over. Uh, we're, we're right now in the second to last tier of the game. This honestly isn't a card that you should spend all your loadout on, to be honest with you. It's just. You know, if you can get ranks within the top 500, you have a decent Becky Lynch. You know, even top 1,000 is a decent Becky Lynch. But overall, if you're going to aim for something decent like I would aim for, top 500 should get you the... should be a nice-looking card. You know, LMS cards aren't as great as they once used to be. Uh, you know, the, these stats compared to, like, rank 1 and rank 2 don't make a shitload as they did back in the day. Since WrestleMania 35 here, these cards are near the same we're talking back in the day one rank was like a 5k difference now they're like a 1k difference it is really really crap the, where they are now so honestly guys if you want my opinion if you want a great becky lynch car that can handle anything top 500 is what you want to go with 507 it would be the probably or even 620 would probably be like after once you get into the blue range you should be happy with that uh, no, knowing me, I'll probably try to aim for top 33, but I don't know if it will be possible because I'd rather not spend a crap load of money to get this card. Uh, I'll be happy probably with top 325, if I'm being honest. Uh, I'll probably want to sell it right, right here, maybe at the mo at the worst. But, yeah, overall, amazing looking card. Uh, I hope people just don't get... I hope people just don't go crazy for it, man. It's like... It's the end of this tier. SummerSlam 19 is right around the corner, guys. Don't get hooked. It's a trap. It is a trap, and don't just don't get hooked. Now, overall, for my LMS deck, I will be fine. I still got to pro up Charlotte. So, uh, yeah, that will go there. And then, of course, I'll probably add enhancements to my other cards, like my left arrows, so I can get this totally balanced out for left and right arrows. And then Charlotte will take out a Kyrie Saiyan, and then I'll have up, down, up, down arrows for my females. So uh, I probably have to delete these supports though, because these supports are so freaking useless. They're in my LMS deck. I don't know why, but I'm gonna get rid of them. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you on the next one. Take care, ladies and gentlemen.